Moving on to Sunday, we have got 12 p.m. Central Time on Fox. The Philadelphia Eagles, led by one Jalen Hurts, heading to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Bucs are favored by 9.5. The total sits at 49 here. Look, 9.5, like the Bucs have not exactly been covering uh, machines lately. And I don't know what that necessarily means. You talked about all the different receivers, all the weapons that have been out for Tampa here lately. I, we're in the playoffs now. Like, I I would trust Tom Brady and whatnot, but I, I get the feeling that that this might be a little closer than you would assume. I got the, the numbers on this. Philly is number 15 in overall DVOA. Tampa Bay is number three. Uh, the Philly defense, it shows on the season number 25, uh, but they have been playing better than that here lately. Last weekend, of course, Notwithstanding, I like the I like the Philly offense. I think it's going to give Tampa Bay some fits. I I think the Eagles can cover nine and a half. I don't think they win. I don't think there's any chance that they win. But I I do think they can keep it within nine and a half here. Uh, I don't think this is the one that that Brady and those boys are pointing at. So I think there's a way that Philly can can get back in there uh, and keep this within ten. All right. So you talked about how their defenses look really good. I'm about to read off their last. I don't know, several teams in scores. The defense gave up 16 points, 10 points, 17 points, 18 points, 13 points, last five games. That's incredible. Nobody broke 20. Yeah, those teams were the football team, the Giants, the football team, the Jets, the Giants. Yeah, okay. They, they, <laughs> you do have a valid I, point I'm, give there. Give me the buck. Give me the cover. The, this, this Eagles team is very much a – we, I'm going to use this phrase with another team later. We beat the hell out of bad teams. We really struggle against good ones. That's you know you're not wrong. You are certainly not wrong about that. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, going and looking at the Bucks schedule, which they're 13 and four. Um, to close out, they beat the Jets 28 to 24. They beat the Panthers. 41 to 17 and 32 to 6 in the last 3 weeks. They beat the Sa- or lost to the Saints 9 to nothing. Uh beat the Bills 33-27, beat the Falcons 30-17. Yeah. All right, so you're uh, you're going to take the Bucks on that, right? Yep. I just right. think there's just far more We're we're now in the playoffs. This is where I'm picking talent in coaching. That makes sense. That does make sense. I got a first-year head coach and and a very inexperienced quarterback going up against the most experienced head coach outside of Bill Belichick in these playoffs and, uh, and, and the most experienced quarterback on the planet. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.